Welcome, this is Zan Tao with Repo Products. Today's video is on Autodesk accounts and the updates since the last video that I created back in June. What you see on your screen is Chrome opened up and I've gone over to manage.autodesk.com to log into the account. So as you can see, when you do so, it will ask you to log into your Autodesk account. When you log into your Autodesk account, you can either log in as an end user or a contract manager. Depending on who you are logging in as and what rights, you may or may not be able to see all of the data that's necessary. I'm going to currently log in as our contract manager at our company so we can see everything. I'm going to input the name and the password, and once I'm done, I get into the actual home page of the Autodesk account. And it looks like this, and it says good morning in the end user's name. It will also list any recent product updates link right here that you can click. On the left hand side, you're going to see your navigation toolbar. You can see home, products and services, all products, and you can click any of the pieces of text to get to that aspect. So for example, if I want to look at all of the products that are available, I click All Products and Services. The page will refresh and it will list all the assets that you own. Now, since we are a reseller, we have a lot of software. And depending on how much software you have, it will take a little while to propagate that data. And as you can see, you can scroll down and see all of your products. When you are looking at your list of products, on the left hand side, there are these little arrows that are right before the names and the icons of the products. And if you click any one of them, the drawer will open up and it will show you everything inside. And so for example, for AutoCAD here, you can see that we have different versions that are available, 2019, 18, and 20. You can also click view all product versions to get to additional as well. You'll see serial numbers and product keys and depending on whether it is standalone or network based, for example, this is a network based, you can actually create your own network license file as well. If I click product updates, it's going to list all the updates that you have for your Autodesk account for all of the products that you own. And this list can be fairly extensive, so it may take a while to propagate. If you want to, you can look at the product updates for just a particular product by going into the details of that particular product's drawer, like I showed earlier. And for the sake of speed and not waiting too long for this, I'm going to click back to, uh, I'm going to stop it and then head back to products and services. So now that I'm back at the products and services page, you can obviously see little things like getting to know your Autodesk account, basic video tutorial about the navigation and what you're looking at. And you'll see all the different features and text descriptions of what's going on. And obviously you can click any one of the pieces of text to get further into the, da to the data. Um, let's say you need to download a particular product, say 2018. So I'll click All Products and Services. I'll let the list complete. Then I'll scroll and look for a product that I need. Let's say I look for Revit. And if you look very carefully, it's all alphabetical. So I'm going to expand the little drawer for Revit. And here for this particular one, this one is network based. So I can still click any one of the uh, links that I want. So I want 2018. I'll click view downloads right here. And the page will give you a little window that pops up. And it shows 2018. It shows for a Windows 64 based platform and English. And also it will tell you the different browser uh, download methods. Okay, you have browser download, download now, install now as well. I have mine set up to be browser download. And the reason I choose this method is because it will allow me to download all the installation files 
as a single or multiple exe zipped files. That way I get all the information first, then I can extract the data, then I can install it without having to worry about a constant web connection if you're choosing install now or a different method. If you need the serial number, depending on the product, for example, this one is network based, it's going to rely on a network license file, which I'll talk about a little later. If you by chance pick a product that is not um, network based and it has a serial number, it actually will tell you. As you can see right here, it says the serial number and the product key. You can download, install it, input the serial number and the product key. Now that's method that I just described is for an older method and for those of us who are resellers that are um, have products that are not for resale as you can see here okay but for most if not all clients they have gone over to a named user base methodology and that basically means that you have to click user management and in this user management window you have to create all of the users for each of um, all of the users for your company that is going to use Autodesk products. And so once you create those users by clicking add, you input their name, their email address and everything. You click save and continue. And what ends up happening is it will take you to the actual page of that user. So if I click edit access, it's the same thing. This window that you see here is the window that you will see when you click save and continue. It will list the name of the user and it will list all the benefits that you want to assign to that particular user. So for example, if I need Revit, I just need to make sure that Revit is listed um, within this product and the blue check mark for assign is given to that product. And that way, a seed of that is given to that user. You click save and the information will get updated. And as you can see, for me, I have a lot of products that I have access to. And so now that each end user has been created and each user has all the products that he or she may need to use on a day-to-day -day basis assigned to them, and you click Save, an email will automatically be sent from this system, from Autodesk, to that user. And that user will receive the email and it basically says, hey, your benefits have changed. Click this to log into your account. And it will take them to manage.autodesk.com. And they will log in with their Autodesk username and password. And they'll see the products that they have available. And then they can download and install the product if that's what your company corporate uh, rules allow. Okay. <clears throat> now, Earlier we talked about product updates and when you click this link right here, it will list all the product updates for all the software. If you just need the product updates, say for AutoCAD, then go over to products and services, expand the drawer, and there's a button right here that says updates and add-ons. This will take you to just the updates for just that product. Okay? Now, <clears throat> under buildings and orders you have contracts and this is more for the contract manager who's managing the account for the company and you can click it and it will list all the contracts that you have how long they run when do they expire and you can drill deeper into any one of them by clicking and it will give you the contract number and further data for example the start date the expiration date what's the term who's the contract manager who's the company and so on and it will also list all the products that are included in that contract. If you are concerned about reporting information, you can expand reporting and click, for example, see usage. And it will list all the summary of information for um, total number of users, how many products were used, and total number of seats, and so on. So you can see very visually, it's pretty straightforward. If you're worried about cloud service usage, those that are using cloud credits to do like online rendering, online analysis, and things like that, it'll show you how many are used and how many are remaining per contract. And then if you want to know what the cloud services are by user who's using them for, per, for each user, it'll list here as well, okay? 
again if I click home it takes me right back to the main home page and so this is a good quick overview of this interface and how to access all of this data now let's say because I said earlier if you had a product that is network based and you need to download and install and get a network license file I have a separate YouTube video that describes all of that in detail but very quickly from this video just to make it a little easier for you to see you head over to products and services you wait for a second for it to list and then there's a filter up here switch it to network based and it will list all the products that have installation methodology as networked so let's say you need AutoCAD you can expand AutoCAD and click generate network license and what's going to happen is the page is going to change and you need to specify whether it's a single or distributed don't choose redundant servers we don't use that anymore so I'm going to click single server you need to input the server name and the server MAC address the physical NIC MAC address of the card on that server that is going to give 24 7 access on that server then you click the plus symbol here to add and my advice would be is to click select all and what that does is it's going to go through your entire Autodesk account find all of the Autodesk products that are network based and select all of them and when you do this it's going to help you generate a unique network license file that has all of those products and all of those seats that are available in order to do this you have to have the server name and the MAC address and it is case sensitive just for the sake of safety okay once you've done this it'll generate the network license file and you can save it as a text file make sure the file has a .lic extension and then to proceed with doing the network installation and getting all of that worked out you'll want to watch the other video that I have on how to create a network license file because you need to download and install the LM tools that manages the network license file you have to configure it you have to make sure it's running properly on the server side and then on the net and then on each individual workstation how to install and how to um, make sure that that workstation sees the server from this video and the Autodesk accounts aspect this is a very good basic overview of how to get to all of your products and how to download and install them how to get to your contract numbers serial numbers and product keys and lastly for those who are not aware Autodesk is updating their stuff constantly and eventually we're going to be going straight to named user base for everything and uh, hopefully I'll when I have time I'll set up another video on what all of that means but for now thank you very much for watching